This isn't my wardrobe, but this is an example of where my wardrobe was heading when I was younger. Here it is today. Hey, Fruit Bats, it's Freely Bernardi Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So I've moved into the new place and I've got my cupboard all nice and neat. So I want to show you before it gets all nice and messy. Okay, so let's start up here, uh, the hanging clothes. Okay, for, so first up, we have some little tie tops. I got these from Thailand. As you know, I like to shop in the kids department. I like things short. So these little tops are great if you want to wear a short top and have something a little bit warmer over the top. So they are a couple of bucks. And I've got my cycling outfit here. It came with my bike, so I didn't actually have to purchase that separately. And it's very cool, very comfy. And next up, I've got another cycling top there just to mix it up a little bit. And I've got heaps of secondhand clothing, okay? I love thrift shops. And this jacket was from a thrift shop. And hi, Carb Queen, that's me. I get a lot of embroidery done in Thailand, and that's a dress. It's a black dress. And sarong. Nothing sarong with the sarong. We love sarongs. Do a million things with it. Use it as like a, something to lie on, wrap it around yourself. And there's a secondhand belt that I bought. And that belt, there you go, was $7. $7 from the thrift shop. And this is one of my favorite dresses. I've had this for about 11 years. It was about $20. It's very cool. You just wear it over a bikini, whatever you want, lingerie. Very sexy, very comfy, and nice and fitted as well. I really, really like that one. So that's definitely a favorite. And I've got my one-piece watermelon outfit here which is really cool for photos i probably wouldn't wear it to the beach because it sits funny in some places and i've got my orange slice top there it's like see-through um meshy kind of material really like that and what do we got now oh we've got the watermelon dress i love the watermelon dress it's got a big bite out of the side and a banana dress you can just peel that peel the zip open and I really like that. I got that sent to me a while ago. And we've got some watermelon gloves there and beanies and all that. And bikinis. That's like a Victoria's Secret bikini there. And it was only like about $20. I would never pay some ridiculous price for bikinis. And that's a um, Sea Folly one or something. I'm not sure. But I got a couple of bikinis there. They come in handy when I get to the beach, which is not very often at the moment because it's freezing and there's no beaches nearby. And this is a workout top. Love this workout top. I think it's um, a Lorna Jane top. Really comfortable. It's got some padding in there. It's got some good support. And that is probably one of the most comfortable um, tops I've got because it's got a lot of support, like thick straps. That's another nice top. And what do we got next? What do we, oh, now we have some shorts on this skirt. This skirt was from the op shop, the secondhand shop. One of my favorites was about $5, got sequins on the bottom. It's really comfortable and it looks really nice on. And I might show you a photo of that in this video. And this one's from a New York secondhand shop and it says peep show and it is a peep show. Look at that little slit there. You gotta be, you got to be wary of the peep show there, of the slip, because your backside will be hanging out there for everyone to see. And that was a really good purchase at about $7. These shorts were only a couple of bucks. They're from Thailand. They're very short shorts. And those ones are not so short, but they're really comfortable. I love those, those shorts. And these are from Thailand too. These are really comfy. I love these um, harem type pants. I wear them a lot and they've got holes in them. I've just wear, worn them to death. Very cheap. And there's another pair there that someone sent me, I think, or my mum bought me. I'm trying to remember. And those leopard pants and there's more embroidery. So this embroidery is only like about $5 per piece of clothing and it's good quality. It's really good quality. Join the cult, folks. Join the cult. It's really awesome quality and you can get it done in Thailand if you go over there. It's a lot cheaper, of course. And I've got a lot of stuff because I like to wear things with a message, you know, spread a positive message, let people know about this lifestyle. And my tights drawer. So there's a lot of tights going on there because I basically live in tights and people do send me some free ones as well. We've got watermelon, we've got banana, banana, and we've got um, dragon skin. I like this. The shiny one's really, really pretty cool. And some other ones, lots of colors there. The green ones are really cool. We've got butterflies. So yeah, we've got a lot there. I do wear them all though, here and there. 
I love carbs. I love carbs and so do you. So I have lots of labels. As I said, I really like those pants. And vegan, that's me. Where am I going? I'm getting lost here. There we go. Carb. The other side says hi. Hi, carb. Love those purple pants. And I've got a whole lot of jeans here. I've got these jeans. Most of the jeans came from a New York City. There's Abercrombie and Fitch. New York City um, secondhand store. And they were about $12. I would never, ever, ever pay full price for these sort of things. Like for brands or anything. Brands mean absolutely nothing to me. It does not matter. You know, I like to get these ones from the secondhand shop because they fit well. It's nothing to do with what the label says, that's for sure. And like $10, $12, you can't go wrong because these jeans are hundreds and hundreds of dollars usually if you want to buy them new. And I just got some swimmers, got some swimmers in there. And this and this is a Playboy bunny bra that I got for like $5 from the secondhand store. It's actually brand new, but it was in the secondhand shop and it fits really good and looks really quite sexy, if I do say so myself. And Plumeria, I'll put a link to that Plumeria swimsuit. It's really cool. Another, another bra there. And this is just bras and stuff. And we got some shirts. I haven't got all my clothing here, but most of it. We've got some jumpers. Mum got that um, one on the right there. This one from Paris for me, which is really fits nice. She did a good, good job getting that for me. And we got some shoes. We got jackets first. That's from Secondhand Shop. And this one's, where's that from? Lorna Jane, I think. Athletic jumper. And we've got just like a robe, keep me warm at night, and another jacket. Yeah, I like that blue jacket. That's one of my favorites, as you've seen me wear it a lot in my, my videos. This is a really warm one because it gets really cold here. Really cold sometimes. And we have, this is like a Gore-Tex jacket that I wore on my bike ride. And that was definitely like vital for my ride, kept me nice and dry. And now we're to the shoes. These are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are secondhand shoes. They were only about $5 as well, but I wear them all the time in summer. And we've got some little fruity shoes there and they're from Thailand. And those ones in the corner, they're like stripper heels, which I just wear maybe, you know, for a video for Harley or something. Never wear them out, never wear heels anywhere. These are some Steve Madden shoes. There's no leather, no leather, no fur or anything cruel in my cupboard, my wardrobe, that's for sure. So we've got synthetic Uggs and some, um, my cycling shoes there and some running shoes. That's it. That is my wardrobe, folks. So I'm really trying to reduce the amount of clothing I have. So I'm thinking about getting rid of some of this. And, you know, most of it I do wear, but I used to be the biggest clothes hoarder you would ever meet in your whole life. So this is a big, big improvement. And I used to be into labels and now I'm into secondhand clothing and I love it so much. You know, it just fits better. It just kind of feels right instantly. You know, you don't have that off gassing, that formaldehyde, that chemical, you know, smell and stuff like sitting in your wardrobe while you're sleeping and you're breathing that in. So that's a real big benefit. And I just love how it's good for the environment as well. And it's super cheap. And, you know, you find little treasures at secondhand stores. So definitely get into the secondhand stores. Check out those little treasures. You will be surprised at what you find in there. And my advice is to ditch the obsession with labels. It's just a waste of your hard-earned cash. The sexiest thing that you can wear is confidence. That is by far sexier than any label, any bit of Gucci, Prada, Yves Laurent, any of that. It's literally priceless. So I don't like to make just a useless video about my clothing. So the message I really want to put across here is as much as possible shop in secondhand clothing stores. You know, you're going to save a whole lot of money. It's going to help the environment. You're going to find a heap of like unique funky, fun clothing that you wouldn't find in standard shops. So definitely check out the secondhand stores and please don't buy leather and fur and animal product clothing because, you know, we want to leave the animals alone. Let's choose cruelty-free fashion every time because there's no need to take the skin or the fur off another animal to clothe ourselves, especially not in 2014. Okay, folks, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm not sure which video is coming up next. Maybe a house tour, maybe not. But hopefully soon I will have excellent internet so I can just pump the videos out. Okay, fruit bats, don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. I'll see you soon.